Today, I'm going to show you how to get a modern mountain aesthetic like I've created in this guest bedroom using five easy steps, starting from a blank canvas. We're going to talk about color, texture, pattern, motif, and lighting, plus a sixth bonus tip at the end. So let's get right into it. Step one, color. Mountain Lodge aesthetic takes heavy inspiration from nature. When I think about mountain lodges, I picture cold rainforests, snowy pine trees, and the Pacific Northwest in general. The natural beauty of these areas really reflects in the color palette that you want to target. Anything warm, earthy, and neutral. So for example, browns pulled from bark or soil or dirt maybe deep forest greens of pine needles or forest foliage, warm deep reds from autumn leaves or crackling fires, and finally stone gray pulled from rock or thunderclouds. And for any of my color theory nerds out there, this is a complementary color palette of reds and greens. And the predominant theme here is warm and dark. So we're going to start by darkening up this space with this charcoal waffle blanket from Quince. This has a beautiful deep gray color that reminds me of stone. It's soft and luscious, and the waffle design helps create highlights and shadows, like a gradient of shade that adds an organic depth of interest to our color palette. Choosing high quality textiles, in this case 100% organic cotton, is really important to design, especially when you're going for a cozy aesthetic like we are today. But the good news is it doesn't always have to break the bank. This blanket, for example, is only $100 and I'll be sure to link it down below. All right, step two is texture. We'll layer in a few more colors in a minute, but this waffle design is actually a perfect lead-in to element number two, which is texture. And again, we're taking inspiration from the outdoors. Aside from woven textiles, the big ones in mountain aesthetic are wood, metal, leather, stone, and fur. This brings me to my next addition, which is this beautiful textured faux fur throw, also from Quince. This thing is incredibly soft, both front and back, it's weighty, it's cozy, lush, and the simple texture creates a variance in tone and shadow, just like the waffle blanket that helps deepen the organic look and feel of the room. This blanket is also just $100, and that's because of Quince's factory direct model. They're committed to sustainability and ethical practices, so be sure to check them out down below. As for other textures, we'll be adding in some light wood details to go with this bed frame in just a minute, as well as some metal accents. But for now, let's turn to step three. Step three is pattern, the first of which is geometric, originating with Native American geometric patterns popular among rugs, blankets, baskets, and other textiles during early colonial America. So in the spirit of those patterns, I'm layering in the row pillow cover from Quince in this dark warm tone called Dark Flax. This has a geometric striped pattern that to me feels like a modern take on the Native American classic patterns, and it's also still versatile enough for me to reuse in other design styles in the future. The warm brown and ivory color combo fits well into my target color palette. The tassels add an extra bit of tactile interest and the pattern is actually woven into the fabric using thick organic cotton threads instead of just printed onto the surface. That's really a great sign of quality and again leans into that cozy plush feel that we're looking to create. Another iconic mountain aesthetic pattern is plaid. So I have these more simple pillowcases and I'm just gonna put them on the backside pillows here. We already have a lot of competing textures and prints going on here. So something more delicate and simple is a nice way to continue with the theme without drawing too much focus. 
All right, our bed is looking awesome, so let's move on to the rest of the room, continuing with the plaid theme with these awesome curtains. If you've been around the channel before, you might actually recognize these as shower curtains that I've used before. Yes, you can use shower curtains as window coverings. And better yet, hanging these nice and high is going to help mask this off-center window, making the room feel taller. Plus, the black as a background adds to the cozy vibe by shortening the depth of this space too. These have tassels, they are woven just like our pillow cover, and the little eyelets at the top are a warm brown which really tie things together. One last pattern for mountain aesthetic is herringbone. Think either in wood or in brick. I'm going to add these bedside tables I flipped a couple months ago from a kid's desk and they have a herringbone wood inlay that I put on the front. Now these particular pieces are more country cottage than mountain aesthetic and in particular mountain aesthetic calls for mid to dark tone wood stain. These are light but I'm here to tell you it's perfectly acceptable to work with what you have and I actually wanted the challenge in this case. This lighter toned wood is still warm, it's still organic, it matches my bed frame, and the cream brown paint of these pieces match our pillow cover as well. All of our mountain vibe boxes are still checked. Step four, motif. A motif is a distinctive symbol or image that incorporates meaning into your design. You might see this on wall art, in little styling knickknacks, or common to mountain aesthetic is in flannel bed sheets. And there are four broad categories you can pull from. First is fauna, so think of bears, deer, moose, elk, or even birds. Second is flora, think of pine trees, pine cones, acorns, wildflowers, or ferns mountains either straight landscapes or anything related to outdoor activities like hiking fishing camping or skiing and the fourth category is colonial so think of lanterns axes antlers campfires and particularly anything made of cast iron in the motif category i'm going to add two things to my room the first is this gallery wall of pictures of various mountain adventures my husband and I have taken over the years. We have a bit of everything in here from Zion to Grand Canyon, even Banff, Canada. This is a set of rustic frames in various colors and sizes that I got off Amazon. So I actually just followed the exact layout that was in the listing and I also applied a color filter to my images to get that warm, desaturated feel. I also have these little cast iron deer coat hooks for my guests to hang towels on or even coats during the winter. Step five, lighting. One last step before I share my bonus tip, and this one is easy. Go warm, go rustic, and go ambient. I have these little wood branch lamps that I got from Walmart almost 10 years ago and I thought they were just perfect for this room. You want to try to mimic fireplaces, candlelight, and get that cozy winter twilight look. So I'm using a warm bulb at 2700 Kelvin. Lamps and lanterns are best for that layered look and if you have the ability to install dimmers to control any overhead lighting, even better. You made it to the bonus tip! We talked about a lot today, color, texture, pattern, motif, and lighting. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, I totally understand. That's why I highly recommend planning out your designs in advance. I typically start by heading to Pinterest to get some inspiration, and then I build a mock-up in Canva. This is a lot easier than it looks. Just drag and drop images from the internet and then use the background remover tool to layer them over each other. Once your design starts to come together, compare back and forth to your Pinterest board to see what's working and tweak what's not. If it weren't for the mock-up that I made, I would have actually bought lighter curtains and the whole vibe of this room would have been completely different. This trick has saved me plenty of times in the past and helps make sure the products that you're going to buy actually fit well together. 
You can find all the products I use today down in the description box. And if you're looking for more mountain aesthetic content, I suggest watching this video on how to build rustic barnwood furniture out of construction lumber. Leave a comment down below about what your favorite tip is. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you next time.